So you're thinking of moving to York, South Carolina, and you're looking for someone to show you what it's really like? Well, stick around. On this episode, we're going to cover awesome places to eat, some neighborhoods, some historic homes, and a few other things you need to know if you're thinking about moving to York, South Carolina. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the Carolina Salute, where we cover everything Charlotte. I'm Joe McIntosh with EXP Realty, and every day I help people just like you move all around this city. So whether you're one day or 100 days out, give me a call, shoot me a text, let's schedule a Zoom so I can get you and your family the information you're looking for so you can make the best move possible. So let's talk about York here for just a little bit. It's not just a county, it's also the city here, and it's also the county seat here. So your courthouses and all of your county municipality things are gonna be here for your little city government. Also, hey, it's got a population of just over 8,000 people, so it's not exactly this big metropolis, which you've probably figured that out by now. It does have a beautiful historic district. I hope I get over there and show you some of those homes and talk to you a little bit about that. Hey, this isn't a one stoplight town. It's got a Walmart. It's got a Lowe's. It's going to have two grocery stores. We're going to have a Walgreens and a decent little selection of fast food. I'm here in this charming downtown. We've got awesome coffee shops. We've got little places to eat up here. Shops to come in, an antique shop here down the road. And they've really done an awesome job in preserving this downtown and really integrating the old with the new. York, South Carolina here, the city. We're gonna be about 51 minutes outside of downtown Charlotte. So if that's a commute you have to make, that's something you're just gonna have to think of because coming home in the evening with all the traffic, that's gonna get to be a time spent in your car you'll never get back. Your next biggest city that's gonna really have everything else in it you need is gonna be Rock Hill. It's only gonna take you about 25 minutes to get to Rock Hill and that's a pretty easy drive. You will run into some city traffic there once you get there. But this is downtown York. What do y'all think so far? Y'all stick with me. We're gonna go see the city. I'll see you at the next spot. So the next community I wanna talk about is a Meritage community here off of Olympia Drive. These are brand new homes and here I'll tell you about them real quick. The smallest homes are gonna be 1528 square foot with three bed, two and a half bath and start at 306,000. You can buy a brand new home for $306,000 here in York, South Carolina. The biggest homes in this neighborhood are gonna be five beds and top out at about $394,000. There's gonna be roughly 150 homes here and they're gonna finish building in here in December of 2024. So depending on when you watch this video, this neighborhood may already be done and now you'll be buying a resale from the original owner or hey, if you see this in time, get with me and we can come get you a brand new home. They've got some awesome incentives going on at the moment but what do you say hey this is special we get to go inside y'all want to go see it follow me let's go so just coming through the front door here just stares that head up hey when it comes to new home sales one thing to remember is if you reach out to them and sign in to their portals with your name, phone numbers, and email first, me or any other agent you want to want in to work with, will have really lost the opportunity to help you and represent you when it comes to the new home builder. So just remember that. And here's the living room, dining room, standing over the kitchen here, and I'll swing around so you can see the kitchen. The other thing to remember as you look at new home builds sometimes, depending on the builder, and they're all a little bit different, is the model homes could possibly have upgrades in them that are not necessarily 
afforded to you when you buy the property. So ask them that, make sure we ask them that when we come in, hey, as the model home is shown or all of those upgrades available. What do we all think? So what did y'all think of that home? Stay with me, we'll tour the neighborhood and I'll see you at the next place. So if you're coming from out of town, you've got no idea what a food line is. Food line's gonna be your grocery store here in York. There are two grocery stores. So like I said, hey, it's not a one stop light town. You've got two food lines and a Walmart super center to choose from. If you need a, a specialty store or just a nicer grocery store for something that they don't carry, hey, you can go into Rock Hill or possibly Publix down in Lake Wiley and a quick Google search will probably help you with everything you need. And also don't worry, Amazon delivers and you can order anything to your front door. So this is Food Line. Just wanted to kind of show you a little bit more of what your potential city looks like. I'll see you at the next spot. A minute about the historical district. You can see this absolutely amazing home behind me. Check out the porches. They just don't make them like this anymore. There is a historical district here and that can be an awesome thing and it can also be a not so awesome thing depending on who you are. You know, if you're looking to buy an old historic home and totally renovate it and have it be absolutely stunning, York might be an option for you. There's not always, there's never many for sale. So if you do see one for sale, I suggest you jump on it immediately. But one thing to know about historic districts, there's a council here within the city and they will govern everything that happens with these properties. I haven't read the documents, but if that's the road you want to go down, you need to make sure you read those documents line by line, page by page, and fully understand what will be required of you by law if you decide to rehab one of these homes. They can govern everything from the paint color to the finishes inside, the types of windows, the types of flooring you have to use. And these are old homes. They're early, late 1800s, early 1900s, and possibly older. So just fully understand the financial commitment that it could take. And you might not always get your money back out of it. So it's have to be a project you understand and wanted to do because it was something you always wanted. Sometimes you can get your money back out of it, but not always. So there's more to historic homes. That's a whole video in itself. So please get with me on that if that is something you're interested in. 
But what do y'all say? Let's go see some homes that were maybe a little bit newer and something you want to live in. Okay, so one cool place I wanted to make sure that I got the highlight is Yorkville Marketplace. This place is unlike anything I've probably ever been in. It's like a set of individual boutiques from around the area. You can buy cowboy boots, you can buy a knife, you can buy a diamond ring. They've got a wine and beer bar in the back. Pretty incredible sandwiches. You can buy little dishes and cute tchotchkes and there's even a candy corner inside so it's like 25 boutiques all shoved into one store super cool and a really cool spot to go in here in york so just wanted to tell you all about it. my restaurant feature for york south carolina is gonna be hoof and barrel this is locally owned and operated it's not like a big chain or a big group, a local guy named John Hines who had been a successful businessman and decided to bring incredible food to York, South Carolina. My favorite thing on the menu here is gonna be the baseball steak. It's incredibly affordable and absolutely delicious. This is like foodie inspired food. So even though you're in a small place, you're gonna get delicious dishes. You can also come in and get an awesome drink. They've got an incredible bar and a ton of options here. So whether you're looking for just a little happy hour, a place to have a beer with friends, or you're looking for just casual dining to come out with your family, maybe date night, come down to Hoof and Barrel and experience the amazing food. Hey, so let's talk a little bit about education and the schools here for York. This district doesn't grade quite as high as the Clover School District, and most of the schools are going to grade to just average to above average. Please remember, hey, school scores are based in almost entirely on standardized test scores and we all know hey that's not always the best way to grade a human and to determine how well someone is gonna do academically so just put a standardized test in front of them the schools aren't bad but they're just not great so you know hey if you're trying to determine york or clover or lake wiley or fort mill or some of these other areas and school's going to be important to you just remember that you can learn a lot going to greaterschool.org and also just trying to click around the community websites and joining the mom's face groups for a minute you can find out just about anything you want to know but i'm outside at the high school you can see some of the facilities beautiful football field over here it is turf and absolutely gorgeous and this school is beautiful. It looks like a small college. It's massive. When I first drove by it, that's what I thought it was. I thought it was a small college. Here. That's kind of the lowdown on the school systems. Double check the grades on them. Make sure if you've got elementary kids and you find a house you love, make sure you're okay with the elementary school zoned for that home. So that's it for schools. Just wanted to fill you in on that. Again, if I can never do anything for you, don't hesitate to give me a call. Well, without further ado, y'all, let's get on with the rest of our tour. The home I wanted to feature for you is I did find one that was, we'll call it slightly older. This is 7 Church Street. That's right, one number in the home address, 7 Church Street. This is a three bed three bath and just over 1300 square feet it sits on a quarter acre and it's listed at two hundred and eighty seven thousand dollars and you can buy this from the original residence it was built in 1889 no 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 i'm joking but it's been charmingly updated throughout the years you can see the vinyl on the side i assure you that was not an option of siding when the home was built and you'd live next to this beautiful home here. You can kind of see behind me. So this is 7 Church Street. You can really tell the age of home sometimes by how many numbers are or are not in the address. So what do y'all say? Let's go see some more of York. I'll tour the neighborhood a little bit and I'll see you at the next place. So 
So my next home feature here is 1208 California Street, and this one doesn't disappoint. This is a three bed, three bath, 1,890 square feet, sits on the market for $435,000. It's kind of like, but wait, there's more. This house sits on 5.9 acres. That's right, 5.9 acres with the house for $435,000. I've seen this amount of acreage listed for almost $435,000 with no home. So incredible value here. Hey, just one thing to remember as you get out here and you've got property with acreage is you're not most likely not going to have city services. So you will be on well and septic and odds are good. You will not have trash service. I came down a couple hundred yards of driveway here as it turns the corner there and heads out to the road. So odds are good you're not going to want to roll your trash cans all the way in and out there anyway unless you just want your kids to get in the best shape of their life. Nothing wrong with that. If you're looking for acreage, it is a little harder than it seems as you just look at the map and say there's nothing but trees, there's no houses. Hey. We are within that great vicinity to Charlotte. We're still a part of the Charlotte market. So land here is gonna cost a little more probably than you're hoping for. And also one thing to remember is if you've never had five acres, this can be a lot to maintain. So just take that into account as you look at the space and where you want your house to be. But this was 1208. Again, it sat on 5.9 acres, 1208 California Street. I hope y'all are enjoying this tour of York. What have you thought so far? Tell me down in the comment box of what you think. I'd love to talk to you again. So if you ever need anything, give me a shout. Well, what do y'all say? Let's get on to the rest of York. My park feature for York, South Carolina is going to be City Park. And while it might look a little under amusing because it is December, is this is a splash pad. How many places have you seen that had city splash pad? Remember, it does get pretty hot here in the summertime and there's not a ton of city pools around. So you can bring your little ones down, let them splash around here end of summer, cool off, hang out with your friends, meet some other parents. Uh, just kind of one downside here is there's not a public bathroom. So if you're coming down and it is the summertime when you get here, just remember that. Also from here, just across the street right here is gonna be the city park trail, not city park, excuse me, your city bike trails, right? There, that right there, just continue that sidewalk down is, gonna be your bike trail so the city's done a lot and working really hard to provide quality amusement and quality things for the city residents to do so this has been city park and just one thing to hit on hey it is december 2nd and i'm in short sleeves it was nippy this morning you needed a jacket this morning when i put my daughter on the bus but the sun comes out it warms up and you're pretty good to go you know, so what have y'all thought of York, South Carolina? I hope you've enjoyed this tour, tried to show you some old homes, some new homes, and cover what you're going to need to know if you're moving here. Again, if I can ever do anything for you, please don't hesitate to give me a call. I'd love to speak to you. Until next time, guys, thanks for watching another episode of the Carolina Salute. I look forward to seeing you.